Every big brand would like us to believe that the soccer cleats slash football boots that we see big name pro players, our favorite players wearing on TV, are exactly the same as the ones that we can actually go and buy at the store. This is simple marketing. It's why they spend so much money to have these players wear their products and essentially represent their brand. The hope is that their influence is going to lead to more sales. And while there are examples of certain players, big name players even, wearing modified versions of the shoes we can actually buy. Cristiano Ronaldo is a great example with his shortened collar on the Superfly 5 that he's currently wearing. There are plenty of big name players that appear to be wearing the exact same version of the shoe that we can actually buy. And even with the visual similarities, there is always one key difference, a secret if you will, that a lot of people do not consider in regards to what's different about a pro issued boot and the boots that we can actually buy. And that's what we're gonna be discussing in today's video. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to discuss the main difference between a pro issued boot and the version of the boots that you can actually go and buy in the store. Now here's a subconscious observation that I'm sure everybody has made at some point in time when watching pros play, especially close up. You'll always notice that you'll never ever find a pro player with boots that fit sloppy or look like they're too wide or look like they're too narrow or just don't look like they fit properly at all. That is something that is extremely uncommon and there is one key reason for that. The fact that the versions of these top end models that pros are wearing are not the same shape, they're not the same fit as the ones that we can actually buy. They are custom fitted and I'll explain why that is in today's video. So if you wanna learn more on this topic, please stick around and also if you guys enjoy this style of video and perhaps want to see more on the channel, be sure to support it with a like. In order to properly explain this, I think it's important to understand how a soccer cleat slash football boot or really any piece of footwear is constructed in the first place. So I have as an example right here, and really you could use any shoe at all, is a Hypervenom Phantom 3DF. There are two main components here, the top piece and the bottom piece. In this case, you have the upper and you have a flat sole plate. Now, when it comes to the shape of a shoe, the way it will fit, a lot of people think that the sole plate has everything to do with determining that. The width here, the width here, the width here, all of that is going to lead to the shoe fitting a certain way. And while the sole plate and its overall shape does play a role in the fit of the shoe, it isn't absolutely everything. A lot of people think that your foot has to stay within the borders or the edges of this particular sole plate, but you can see even on this brand new pair, the upper will spill over the edge ever so slightly. And as you wear them in, especially with a leather shoe, there will be some kind of overhang with the edges of the sole plate. That is completely normal and not a bad thing at all. So again, this does impact the shape, but it isn't absolutely everything. In regards to the upper, when they actually manufacture this, believe it or not, it is completely flat. They don't build it in the shape of a foot. So in order to make it flat, there has to be a seam. And while the seams are pretty well hidden, especially on these one piece fly net boots, you can see on the back, there is a seam right there. And when the shoe is fully constructed, that is where everything attached. That's where they fold it around what is called a last. And I have as an example here, I'll post some pictures on screen of what a last would actually look like. But I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with these when you get a brand new pair of shoes in general. Sometimes they stuff them with paper, sometimes they give you one of these cardboard, essentially lasts or a placeholder. And the reason why they put those with the shoes is so they don't wanna get crunched up in the box. So when you get them, they look like they're the proper shape, even though, even if it was crunched up, it wouldn't necessarily change the fit of the shoe. But this last is essentially replicating the shape of a foot. It's not necessarily a perfect match to what they actually built the shoe on, but it's a good example because basically what they would do is they would take the sole plate, put it on the bottom of this last, which again is the shape of a foot, and then wrap what is a flat material in the form of the upper all the way around the last and then attach it at whatever the seam point would be. In this case, it's at the very back of the heel. That's going to determine the shape and width of the shoes. So in the case of retail soccer cleats slash football boots, any big brand will use a predetermined shape, a last, that is going to be fairly generic in that 
it's going to fit most people comfortably. Obviously they can't come up with one single shape that's gonna fit everyone absolutely perfect. That's why it's always a good idea to do your research and if you do have the option of going to a store, try on multiple different pairs of shoes because everything will fit a little bit differently. If we use Nike as an example, they have four main lines. The Mercurial line, which is gonna offer the tightest fit, so they would use a more narrow last. Then the Hypervenom line, like I'm holding, which will be a little bit wider. Then the Magistas, which will be a little bit wider yet. And then the Tiempo line, which is obviously gonna be the widest, plus it's a leather upper, so you get that little bit of stretch as well. So within the brands, part of the reason why they offer different lines is not only because the shoes will have different performance characteristics, but also because they will offer different fit profiles, different predetermined shapes that you might find more comfortable depending on your specific foot type and really your personal preferences. So in the case of a pro-issued boot, how would that work? How would they get a custom shape? It has to do with building the shoe around a custom last. So the place where these are manufactured, the retail versions of pretty much any shoes, generally is not the same place where pro-issued boots are constructed. It's a little bit more of a handmade process, even though most of the time they're using the exact same materials, the exact same uppers, the same sole plates. A lot of the technology and general materials do not change. In the case of some leather shoes, you'll find that they will use a slightly softer leather just because they want that softer feel and the durability is not gonna be as important because obviously if you're a pro player, getting new shoes all the time is not necessarily going to be an issue. You wouldn't even necessarily have to take care of that personally. The club would take care of all that or the brand that of course is supplying the shoes. So that's the only instance where you will find a slight variation in materials. Some players do have completely custom uppers, don't get me wrong, but the vast majority of the time, and I guess what we're focusing on in this video, is when the shoes look like the retail version in regards to the upper, it is likely very, very similar in terms of overall materials. But again, that construction process is different because they take a custom shape of their foot, a custom last. So when you take the sole plate and the upper and you form it around that last, it's now a custom shape. It's formed to the exact shape of your foot, which would make a big difference, not only in terms of the quality of the fit, but also in regards to the break-in process. So if you ever wondered why pros are wearing new shoes all the time, isn't it hard for them to constantly be breaking in new shoes? Well, if a soccer cleat slash football boot or really any piece of footwear is custom shaped to your foot, that is going to ease the process significantly. Really, when it comes to breaking in a soccer cleat slash football boot, what can make it tricky is if the shoe does not fit you perfectly. It's obviously a period where you're having to get used to a new pair of shoes, and also the period where the shoe is basically adjusting to the specific shape of your foot. They'll stretch a little bit, they'll give a little bit, and it's not until after that process to where they start to feel completely comfortable. But if you're starting with a shape that already perfectly matches your foot, the break-in process is going to be significantly easier. This is so important to note for the average consumer because I think some people do watch what pro players are wearing and think that they're wearing those shoes for specific reasons that won't necessarily be true. In regards to how the retail version fits and how the pro versions will fit, that can be two completely different things. If I was a pro player and I had a really wide foot and I was a Nike endorsed athlete and I wanted to wear Mercurials, guess what? They could make a Nike Mercurial on a custom last for me and it would be the exact same shape of my foot, not at all like the retail version of the Mercurial that would have a much tighter, much wider fit overall. So again, this is something that is exclusive to professional players. And in the case of pretty much any shoe at all, if you can have a boot that is custom fitted to the exact shape of your foot, that would make the world of difference in regards to overall comfort and to a certain extent, the performance characteristics of that shoe. If you're eliminating dead space, that's gonna make the shoe feel more responsive and just more locked in and secure on your feet in general, which is obviously what we all aim for when picking out a brand new pair of shoes or at least something you should be focusing on is the quality of the fit. Cause that is, in my opinion, the most important characteristic when it comes to a soccer cleat slash football boot and really perform performance footwear in general. Just to give you guys a very clear and easy to see example, we're gonna focus on Cristiano Ronaldo again, who obviously does wear the Superfly 5. I'm holding a pair right here in my hands, and his does have the shortened collar as well as other small modifications. But I think the biggest modification that is so clear to see 
is the custom shaping of his shoe, the custom last that it's built on. So here's a retail version of the Superfly 5, the ones that we can actually buy. Notice the volume of the shoe through the midfoot and especially in the toe box forefoot area. It's very, very slim, very low profile. If you notice the width and the general shape of the toe box, it's cut again, very, very slim overall. Now look at this picture of Cristiano Ronaldo's shoes. You'll notice that the toe box is much more rounded, it's much wider, and the volume especially is much, much higher volume. It's completely different from the retail version. Why is that? Because the shoes are built around a custom last. They are formed to the exact same shape as Cristiano Ronaldo's feet, which is really an ideal situation. And again, his is kind of an extreme case because they're really, really easy to see. But if you pay close attention to a lot of pro player, player boots, you'll always notice that there is going to be slight differences in regards to not so much the shape, because that's difficult to notice, but if you pay attention to the volume in the midfoot, the forefoot, and the toe box area especially, those are differences that you can pretty easily pick up on in terms of determining how close the fit of their shoes are to the actual retail versions. Does it really matter at the end of the day? No, not really, because they're just wearing a shoe that is custom fitted to the shape of their feet, which is really the ideal situation for any soccer player at all. But again, using Cristiano Ronaldo as an example, it just goes to show how big of a difference a custom shaped boot can make, especially in comparison to a retail version. So definitely something worth considering when picking out your next pair of shoes, even if your favorite pro player is wearing them, really they're valuing the fit more than anything. And because they have the option of a custom fitted shoe, obviously their options do open up a little bit more within different shoes in the brand, because even if they did have wider feet or wanted a shoe to fit a specific way, they could still pick a Mercurial, they could still pick a Magista, they could still pick whatever they wanted and get that desired fit. Whereas for the average consumer, it's really, really important to not only value what the shoe is going to feel like on your feet, but it's also very, very important that they also fit you properly, which in that situation, sometimes the best shoe in terms of what fits you the best is not going to be the one that you necessarily want. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much all I have to say on this topic. People will get really hung up on modifications to uppers, different sole plates, different stud patterns, and those are all cool modifications. But if you're talking about the most important modification for any of these pro issued boots, it's the fact that they are custom shaped to the player's feet. That would make the world of difference regardless of what shoe it is. Because I know a lot of people will ask after watching this, there is no way for you to get a custom fitted soccer cleat slash football boot from any of the major brands. It is not a service that they offer to the public for any amount of money, which sucks, I know, but unfortunately that is reality. It would be a dream of mine to get a custom fitted shoe from a big brand. I think that would be such a cool experience just to have that done and to see how a shoe would actually feel made to the exact specifications of your foot. That's something that would be so cool as a boot enthusiast, but is that ever going to be a possibility? I highly doubt that, at least for the near future. Way down the line, who knows what kind of technology that they would have that would perhaps allow for custom fitted shoes if that ever did happen. That would be absolutely incredible. But as of right now, it simply is not a possibility for the average consumer. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. If you have any questions for me, as always, on this topic or any suggestions, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will get an answer out to you. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest socks gear. You can find all of my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.